Hi, and welcome to Rams All Access here on FordhamSports.com. Coming up on the baseball season starting this weekend, and we'd like to welcome in head coach Kevin Layton of the Fordham baseball team. Coach, this year, brand new year. What has you excited about this year's team? Well, I mean, the guys uh, this year seem to have a lot more energy. Uh, it's it's always exciting. Every year is a new year. It's a, a new group of guys. So uh, every year, this time of year, it's just uh, you guys can't wait to get going. And, um, you know, we're looking forward to it. I think we've got a good group, uh, good mix of guys, and, and uh, just can't wait to get going. You brought in uh, two new assistant coaches on your staff this year, and Rob Matoma and Chris Bresnahan to join yourself and pitching coach Jimmy Jackson. Talk a little bit about what they bring to the table and to this coaching staff. Yeah, Chris uh, Chris is young. I mean, he just got done playing, uh, you know, came from a, a very good school at Elon as far as uh, uh, year after year uh, success. And, you know, I think he brings that to the team. He, he brings some youth. He brings uh, some some energy. And, and the guys look at him as uh, he has a playing experience. And, um, you know, also just the fact that, um, you know, I think he, he knows what it takes to win. Uh, he's used to winning, and I think that's something that's important. Um, uh, Rob has been uh, a guy that, you know, I've, I've seen a lot uh, in the past few years, and, and he's a guy that works extremely hard recruiting. Uh, he brings something as far as just a lot of different small ball type of stuff to the program that, um, you know, maybe we've uh, may, maybe ignored a little bit uh, at times. Uh, and he, he's very good with the bunting. He's very good with the base running. Uh, and I'm excited about what we've been working on uh, this year and what he's bringing to the to the team. So, obviously, it's been a rough winter for uh, preseason practices and and uh, trying to get off-season workouts out on the field. How does that affect how you're going into the start of this season? Yeah, it's been tough. Uh, that's one of the things that you know you start to notice it as a coach. Uh, the guys are just kind of um, they just want to get going. Um, and when you're inside, that's kind of magnified. I mean, the the first year here. Uh, we were very fortunate. We were outside a lot, um, and, and the past couple of years, this year especially, has just been uh, kind of locked up inside, and uh, it, it does get repetitive. It does get a little boring, um, but we are blessed. I mean, we do have a very nice facility as far as indoor baseball is concerned. Uh, we don't have to practice at odd hours, and um, you know, we get a lot done in there. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's just something about being outside uh, that makes practice or you know things go a little bit easier so uh we're i know that's one thing we're looking forward to is just actually seeing a pitch outside uh as opposed to inside a cage so one of those uh, things that happen around collegiate athletics is conference realignment this league was uh, again had some more conference realignment uh, as the uh, atlantic 10 added george mason you lose Temple and Charlotte. What's the state of the league for baseball right now with that change? I think the A-10 is in great shape uh, baseball-wise. I mean, I, I look at our league as one of the better leagues around. It's it's uh, it's a very challenging league. I mean, uh, St. Louis has been very good, even though this will be our first, uh, at least my first look at them uh, being here now. This will be the third year, and it's kind of – that's one of the weird things about the league is, uh, you know, I have nothing uh, – no previous knowledge on them uh, and their conference opponents. So um, it'll be interesting. I know George Mason brings a lot. Uh, we have them the first weekend, so we'll, we'll kind of get the first uh, look at them in, in the conference. Um, but it is a very strong league. It's it's a league that constantly seems to look to get better uh, and add programs that will, uh, will challenge us year after year. So let's take a look at this year's team now. Uh, last year, big influx of freshman talent, 10 players last year get another 10 this year where the vast majority of your team are under a class. What are you, what are you expecting out of the youth of this team uh, to contribute this year? Yeah, the young guys have looked pretty good. I mean, uh, you know, last year's group um, uh, had a, had a little, you know, had some success early and uh, we're expecting those guys to come back and, and pick up where they left off, uh, you know, between Runco and, and Galliano, um, Brett Kennedy, and hopefully Sarah Peak can come back uh, healthy uh, rehabbing from his Tommy John surgery, but uh, a lot of the guys this year have looked good early on. Uh, freshmen are always interesting, you know. They sometimes look good in practice, and then uh, you see what you get uh, as far as the game's concerned. But um, we'll see. I, I'm excited about them. Uh, some of these guys have looked really good. I, I'm, I'm sure they're going to help us uh, throughout the year. Now we're going to talk to a couple of your veteran leaders on the team: Tim Swatek, Ryan Phelan. T um, 
Ryan, uh, Rob McCunney and uh, Matt Cianci. What do you look from them as the leadership uh, core group of players uh, for having such a young team? Yeah, that, that's something we've talked about a lot with uh, with some of our older guys. Um, you know, we want them to be an extension of, of the coaching staff. We want them to be the coaches on the field, in the locker room, be the coaches off the field. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's difficult as a, as a player to, to uh, you know, be the guy that's going to, uh, stand up and, and say something as far as whether it's good, bad, or, or other. Um, but they've done a nice job. I, I think uh, that's something that uh, we've been preaching a lot this year is, is our leadership. And uh, I'm excited to see these guys uh, you know, lead this team and, and take us where we need to go. Now, on the field, uh, from the pitching staff point of view, you lost two big arms in Joe Charest at the top of the rotation, as well as Rich Anastasi, big lefty reliever, you know, was solid out of the bullpen. Who do you see stepping into those roles and 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 taking over those slots on the team? Yeah, this year uh, there there are some uh, interesting spots on the mound that we need to fill. Uh, I'm excited. Uh, you know, Brett Kennedy had a pretty good freshman year last year, and he's looked very good this fall and winter. So he'll he'll uh, slide into a starter spot. Tim Swadek is, uh, you know, has been used uh, over his career out of the pen, and I think uh, it's tough because we've always thought of him as one of our better arms. Um, uh, and, you know, we'd use them uh, for maybe two to three innings a week, and now, you know, we're looking at it saying, hey, let's get five to seven, hopefully eight or nine if possible uh, per week and, you know, use them as a starter. And the other part about it with Tim is he's a two-way guy. He's going to play the outfield when he's not pitching. And being a starter, he's on a set schedule as opposed to uh, a reliever. So it should help uh, him in, in that sense. I think it should uh, benefit him. Uh, and then out, out of the relief uh, situation, uh, I, I think Anastasi uh, is a big role to fill, but I, I think John Reich is going to step up and have a big year this year. And uh, we have a, a lot of uh, different options. John Porter has looked very good. Um, and then some of the young guys between uh, 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 Joe Serapica coming back healthy, hopefully, and um, Greg Weissert and Kirk Haynes, uh, depending on his health. Uh, so there's a lot of options. Uh, I mean, a lot of guys have looked good, and I, I think it's one of our deeper staffs that uh, we've had. So, Last question we'll get you out on. Can you give us maybe one or two players that you m may not have seen a whole lot out of last year, but this year have looked pretty good, and you're expecting big things out of uh, in 2014? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. I, I think, you know, Matt Cianci coming off an, an injury last year, um, He's looked very good so far. Um, you know, I think Rob McCunney, you know, th depending on how things go, um, you know, he's a guy that uh, I, th I can see having a big year if, if he, uh, you know, continues to work hard and, and stays positive. Um, you know, Ryan Fallon's looked good. Uh, you know, it's, it, there's a lot of spots where we have multiple guys going for one spot, and uh, it, it's, a, it's a situation where, we're going to be able to mix and match. We're going to have um, different lineups. We're going to have, um, you know, guys going in for defense, guys pinch hitting, things like that. So it's just a matter of us finding the right uh, fit and uh, and going with it. So, Well, Coach, thanks so much for your time today, and best of luck in your season opening weekend uh, this weekend down in South Carolina. Thanks. We'll be right back as we talk to a couple of the players about the 2014 season right after this. Welcome back to Rams All Access, the 2014 Fordham Baseball Preview. We're going to talk to some of the players now and get their perspectives on the upcoming season. We're going to start behind the plate, the backstop, the catchers, the heart and soul of this team with Ryan Phelan, senior catcher. Ryan, three catchers in the core group, yourself, sophomore Charles Galliano, and freshman Pat Gardner. What are you expecting out of, you, uh, out of uh, your core group of three players this year uh, as you head into your first uh, opening weekend? I expect a lot. I mean, I, like you said, we're really the heart and soul of the team, you know, especially from a leadership standpoint. Um, but on the team as well, you know, defensively with the pitchers we're working every day. Um, you know, Chucky's done a great job this f so far. You know, we've really brought Pat along too. He's a great player. He's going to be a great player here. Um, so I really expect a lot out of all of us this season, you know, really drive and, you know, for to 
to lead our team in everything we do. So I expect a lot. Obviously, for catchers, always the brain trust, working with the pitching staff on a daily basis. You only have three senior pitchers on this team. Everybody else is a sophomore or freshman. How important is it this season, the communication between the pitching staff and the, and the group of catchers this year compared to previous years where you have upperclassmen, more experienced pitchers, that now you're on the younger side, a little bit more inexperienced. How much pressure does that put on uh, the, the group of catchers this year? Well, I think it, it starts with us. Um, you know, Coach Jackson did a great job of, you know, getting everything together. But it, at the end of the day, we're on the field, and we're really the coach out there, especially with the pitchers. So, you know, building that rapport all fall. Um, we have a great freshman pitching staff that's come in and really, you know, developed and, you know, been brought along pretty quickly. Uh, we've got guys that had, exp you know, got experience last year as freshmen and now sophomores. Um, the seniors have done a great job from, you know, John Porter to John Reich and even, you know, Tim to um, really bring the younger guys along. Um, so I think the, the pitching staff's a core group. Um, but at the end of the day, it comes down to us and our relationship with them and, you know, being able to, you know, call the right pitches, be able to, you know, settle guys down and be able to motivate guys when they need to make pitches. So um, our relationship, I think, more than anything is – a huge factor in you know how successful we're going to be on the mound this year. Now, out of those young arms, who has impressed you the most so far out of that freshman sophomore group as as they head into this year? Well, I think one guy that we're going to re really rely on, I think, is Greg Weiser. I mean, he, he's going to be a great bullpen guy for us. Um, I can see him really, you know, developing a new guy that we need, you know, in big situations. Um, he's really impressed me, um, you know, with his off-speed stuff and be able to command his fastball. Um, but I and I. You know, pitches I look for too. You know, is our entire sophomore class. You have guys like, you know, um, Brett and Murphy um, that are really going to, you know, be a key part of our pitching staff. And we really need them, you know, to step up this year and really help us out. So I, I really look forward to those young guys helping us. Now, for yourself, I get you out on this question. You enter your final season here at Rose Hill. What are your individual goals as well as the team goals for this season? Um, you know, we sat down and made goals ourselves. You know, whether it's um, you know, the amount of wins we want to have, you know, uh, as a culture, you know, playing for each other. Um, you know, but our senior class, we've never made it to the A-10 tournament, and that's something that we really strive to. And, you know, from day one, um, you know, myself and Tim have really preached that, you know, this is our goal. We need to get to the tournament, and that we have the talent to do it. Um, you know, obviously, we look beyond that, and, you know, we want to win the, the Atlantic 10 tournament. Um, so every day we have that goal in mind that we want to do it. Uh, and I think we can. Uh, like I said, we have enough talent to do it. But it's you know a day in and day out process of going out and saying, all right, this is what we need to do, and we need to step up and do it. Well, thank you, Ryan, for joining us today and giving us an insight into the catcher position for the 2014 season. Next up, we're going to be talking to Tim Swatek about the Fordham pitching staff. Once again, welcome back to Rams All Access and the 2014 Fordham Baseball Preview. As we continue our discussions with the players, we turn into the pitching staff with senior pitcher Tim Swatek. Tim, last year you had your uh, season cut short due to injury, a freak injury in the outfield. How are you doing so far as you head into this season? Um, everything's about 100%. Um, been feeling real good uh, in the fall, um, and this winter has been uh, real nice. I mean, the team's really come together well, I think. You've been a jack of all trades over your four-year career here at Fordham. You've been an infielder, you've been an outfielder, you've been a relief pitcher, and this year you take on the challenge of being a starting pitcher. What's the different mindset you have to come up with this year as opposed to a, as a relief pitcher, outfielder, that now you're an outfielder and a starting pitcher? I mean, it's something I haven't done since high school, so it's been four years, so obviously I just kind of got to get back into getting a routine, and that's the biggest thing about being a starter is, uh, I mean, you throw them once a week, so it's nice to kind of have a set schedule. Um, but it's really just finding my routine, just ha how I know when I'm ready, like um, how midweek games are going to be after I throw. So it's just, it, there's a little bit of an adjustment period that I think needs to happen in the first couple weeks. Um, but it's nothing I can't handle. I mean, I'm ready to get out there. Along with yourself, you got fellow seniors, Jonathan Rice and J.C. Porter. But everybody else on this pitching staff, young talent, mm -hmm. freshmen, and s freshmen and sophomores, what have you seen from those young arms in the preseason that you believe that this could be a special s a senior season for yourself and for the other two seniors? Well, um, definitely some of the sophomores are really picking it up, and we're going to have to rely on Brett Kennedy, um, Jimmy Murphy, Cody Johnson. Um, and they did, a, they did a really good job uh, last year as freshmen. Um, but some of the freshmen we've brought in, and it's 
almost every year you're, you're going to need a couple guys to really step up and um, and really set the table for for when those starters come out of the games and that's where the underclassmen come in um, and I've been pretty impressed I mean I got to face these guys uh, as a hitter so uh, we've got guys who've got good stuff and I, I think we can uh, we'll, we'll be all right when it comes to the late innings one of the unique things about playing uh, baseball here at Fordham University is Houlihan Park which for the most part is a pitcher's ballpark it's got an expansive outfield plenty of room for your outfielders to track down balls and uh, having the field turf for your infielders getting those clean hops Talk about having Houlihan Park as a home field advantage for this team. Well, I mean, it, it is it is big because uh, the dimensions are pretty pl do play real large. Um, and as a hitter, I I've I don't think I've put one out in a game yet in my four years. Um, so that I think that does say something. The wind's always blowing in, so it's really nice to know that you can kind of not be afraid to throw a pitch here or a pitch there, and be afraid you know if if the guy gets under, it's going to carry out. And we have you know some guys who could run balls down the outfield. And, uh, I mean, the, the turf is huge for just taking, getting good hops and stuff like that. So um, I definitely feel like we do have a home field advantage that uh, we really sh should capitalize on this year. Last question for you to get you out of here. 2014, 2013, not a great campaign. What is the big difference between last year and this year to be successful? Well, I think uh, – I think there's a there's a cohesiveness first of all between all four classes. We we really feel like we we have a real good bond. Everybody on the team morale's real high. Um, and then second of all, there's an urgency. There's guys want to win. Like, I mean, I'm sure Ryan, when you talked to him, said we haven't been as the seniors, we haven't been to uh, a 10 playoffs um, all four years. So th there's a real definite sense of urgency, and ev everybody kind of wants to pull together for for each other, and uh, really want to win for each other. We want to play in the meaningful games, you know. Well, thank you so much, Tim, for joining us. And next up, we're going to take a look at the Fordham midfield with senior infielder Rob McCunney. We move along with F Rams All Access and the 2014 Fordham Baseball Preview. We take a peek at the middle infield and the corner infield spots with senior infielder Rob McCunney. Rob, the infield is probably the most experienced group on this team compared to the uh, pitching staff where there's a lot of freshmen and sophomores, catchers, you got the one senior, freshman, sophomore. But in that infield spot, you got a couple of veterans. How do you describe the infield this year and, and, and their production level? Um, this year, our, our infield uh, has a lot of depth. Um, each position's got at least two guys that can compete uh, against any team in the country. So um, uh, it's great to have depth, especially in the infield, because it's a long season, so guys need uh, rest, guys need breaks, and uh, I'm really excited to play with these guys in a full year because we have a very solid infield, top to bottom. We talked with Coach a little bit. It's been a rough winter, uh, suffice to say, here in the Northeast. How has that translated to practice? Obviously, you want to be outside. You want to be on the, on the turf, taking infield, infield, outfield, ground balls and everything like that outside real game action, but you got to take infield, outfield, inside. How big of a difference and a change is that going to be when you guys finally start playing this weekend? Um, it'll definitely be tough, the first first I.O. probably, uh, when we get down to Wofford. But we've been lucky enough to get out uh, to practice outside a couple times, so that's been really helpful uh, to take ground balls on the turf, out in the sun. Um, but it's pretty much the same thing because we go through the same exact routine, uh, no matter in, uh, inside or outside. So I think the transition will only take maybe one day at the most. So I think we'll be ready for it. Rams were picked ninth in the preseason poll by the A-10 coaches. What type of motivation does that give you guys uh, as you head into this season? It's a lot of motivation because I think every one of us on this team knows that we can be number one. And to look at ourselves at number nine motivates us even more to show everyone wrong because no one expects us to do well. So... We're going to catch a lot of teams by surprise this year. I'm very sure of it. What is the one thing uh, this team has to do to find its way to St. Louis and the 2014 A-10 championship? Uh, to stick together. Uh, it's a long season, like I said. So if we all stick together, play for each other, play for the coaching staff, um, there's really no limit what this team can do. Our, our talent this year is as good, if not better, as any other year I've been here. So I'm really excited for this.
And for yourself personally, uh, it's it's been up and down. You've played second base. You've played third base. Uh, again, you find your way into the infield. What are your goals as they you go into this season? Um, I just hope I can find a way to help the team any way I can, whether that be DH, third base, right field, wherever I can help the team. I hope uh, I'm able to do so. Stay healthy, knock on wood, and uh, it'll be a fun year. All right. Well, thanks so much, Rob. I Thank much appreciate it for the time. And we'll take a look at the last part of this team, the Fordham outfield, with junior Matthew Cianci. We get into our final segment here on Rams All Access for the 2014 Fordham Baseball Preview with the Rams outfield. And here we have junior Matt Cianci of the Fordham Baseball team. Matt, five guys in the outfield going to take most, most of the cuts out there in the outfield for yourself. Sam Karachi and Ryan Manali, you got a pretty good core group of experienced guys that got a lot of playing time last year. What are you guys expecting out of yourselves as the upperclassmen on the team? We're expecting to be pretty competitive. And even though there's a lot of upperclassmen, there's also a lot of freshmen. And it's been a pretty cool experience taking guys under your wing, teaching them what to expect, how to go through practice, how to go through the whole, the whole grind of the season. And I'd say the biggest thing this year is just stick together and whether or not any of us are in the lineup, we're going to be supporting each other on and off the field. Coach Slayton brought in two freshmen in this year's recruiting class and Jason Lundy and Ryan Mahoney. What have you seen from those two players to add to your group of outfielders? I'd say they're pretty competitive. And they might have a bad practice, they might have a bad week, but every day they're always challenging us as upperclassmen just to keep our jobs, just to keep doing what we're doing. And at the same time, we help motivate them. Last year, injuries were a big storyline. There, we the, the team lost a number of players beginning of the season, middle of the season, end of the season. How have those players responded? Obviously, yourself being one of them. How have those players come back and, and looking forward to 2014? I'd say we've come back pretty determined, if you want to use that word, simply because not all of us played the whole year due to injury. Um, after that, we had a pretty pretty rough and disappointing season. So we're looking to really make the most of what we can while we're still healthy, and hopefully we'll stay healthy. If you put your finger on uh, one thing for this team to be successful and make it to the A-10 tournament this year, what would it be? I'd say Rob put it pretty well that we have to stick together. There's been a lot of questioning of, of our motives, of our goals, and as you can see on all the lockers, everyone has the same goal this year. And we all just we really mesh together as a team throughout the fall and this beginning of the winter. For yourself, for yourself going into your junior season, what are you expecting out of yourself this year? For myself, I'd say I'm expecting to stay healthy, knock on wood, and um, more importantly, to just be one of the supporting guys, whether it's in the dugout, on the field, just keep everyone happy, keep everyone you know, focused on the game, and that we still want to get to St. Louis at the end of the year. Thanks so much for joining us, Matt. Much appreciated. We thank you for joining us for the 2014 Ford and Baseball Preview here on Rams All Access. My name is Scott Kwiatkowski. Have a great day, and we'll see uh, Matt and the rest of the team out in the field this weekend as they take on Wofford in their first game.